And right now, Alabama's COVID-19 death toll is ranked 16th in the nation. At almost 335 deaths per 100,000 people, the state rates second highest for most deaths per capita. And with just more than half the state being vaccinated against COVID, local and state health officials worry about what hospitals may face in the coming weeks as Omicron continues to spread. News 19's Yvette Sanchez has more. And that's why the booster shot is working against Omicron is because it's stimulating the immune system to produce those antibodies and other immune fighting cells to help help us clear the virus before it causes major infection. Omicron is now the dominant COVID-19 variant across the United States. And with each new variant, doctors say a pattern repeats itself in communities with low vaccination rates. With cases come hospitalizations and with hospitalizations come ICU admissions and then unfortunately deaths. Right now, just less than half of Alabamians remain unvaccinated. With Omicron being twice as transmissible, doctors say over the past several weeks, the numbers have been going in the wrong direction. While people may still seek common monoclonal antibody drugs, Dr. Michael Sag, a infectious disease expert at UAB, says they do not work to treat the virus. Estimates are we prevented 70 to 85% of, of hospitalizations by giving those uh, monoclonal antibody infusions uh, within five days of onset of symptoms. Dr. Wes Stubblefield with the Alabama Department of Public Health says the vaccine gives you a better chance of fighting off the virus. And even if you catch the virus after being vaccinated, it will lessen your symptoms. Um, so that's why we, we need to think about this as a, as a population, about what we want, what we want for our future. And we want to make sure that our, our loved ones who are who are vulnerable are protected, regardless of whether or not they're vaccinated, that our children are educated and, and cared for and fed in the school setting that is so important. That was a bad Sanchez reporting and Dr. West Stubblefield says more people who are immunized from COVID-19, the fewer cases of the virus we will see.